The Trojan Football Report is presented by Montgomery Regional Airport Connections. Convenience, the rest is easy. Fly Montgomery. Troy University. Since 1887, Troy University has educated the mind to think, the heart to feel, and the body to act. If you are called to serve a greater purpose, visit troy.edu. And by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't have the yellow tag, you don't want it. Hello everybody, welcome into the Trojan Football Report. I'm Barry McKnight with Troy head football coach Larry Blakeney. Coach, very important game, Friday, Black Friday, the day after mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, for a lot of different reasons for your football team. 42-28 win over Texas State in, in a lot of different ways. Final home game, senior day, and a, a chance to mm -hmm. close out the regular year with a win. This was a good day for the Trojans. Well, it, it really was. You know, uh, we probably didn't have as good a crowd as we would have had had we not played on Black Friday, you know, and uh, or right around Thanksgiving. But we had uh, some real faithful folks there, and uh, uh, our kids really played well, and I was really proud of the, of the outcome, certainly. and. Uh, you know, we got to six wins, which is a threshold that allows you to uh, possibly play in a bowl if there's one available. I'm not sure what that status is at this juncture, but, uh, you know, we, we sent our seniors out right. Uh, you know, we honored them in uh, pregame, and we, we uh, all played together well and, and got, a, got a, a really important win against, a, in my opinion, a very good team uh, and, and well coached by Dennis Franchoni and his staff. I was impressed by, by so much effort from your uh, from your football team individually. It was good to see Dion Anthony out there again. I wasn't sure we'd see him again. <laughs> you know, I would have bet against it. Yeah. Uh, I would have, and uh, I, you got to you got to give certainly Dion a lot of credit and the, and the surgeon uh, that <laughs> that worked on him, and uh, and also Chuck Ash and and. Uh, Herb and all the guys up in uh, in uh, our sports medicine area that uh, helped rehab him and pushed him and he had he pushed himself yes. to to get ready and he told me he was going to be back. Two big long touchdown passes in the first half to really kind of set the tone. Deion Anthony and the Trojans against Texas State. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. He checks. The TV crew is ready, and it is tea time as Solomon kicks with the wind, and it goes through the end zone, and Texas State will have it first and ten. Here's Deion Anthony, the point quarterback. First with action and ten since the Louisiana Monroe game. Hands it away to Chandler Worthy. Worthy picks his way for the first down on the end sweep across the 32-yard line. Seven, Anthony is in. He'll quickly swing it to the near side. Holmes has a great block in front of him by Williams, and he's going to go 40 to the 30. They're not going to catch Brian Holmes. That play was made by Williams. It goes 58 yards for a touchdown. Men of Troy. 34-yard line, Robinson on the way, gives it away to Chun. He's got loads of room. They may not catch him to the 40, to the 30. They'll run him down to the 25 and stumbling forward to the 19-yard line, Jordan Chun. Left side, Anthony the quarterback, and he'll take it on a, on a quarterback draw. Needs some speed to the 10. He's got it, angles to the outside, and he's got the pylon. Touchdown, no, no. They'll say he's down inside the one. My gosh, he hit the pylon. Trojans trying to take their first lead. Snap back to Anthony, hand off to Chun. He powers to the goal line. Oh, he had it. It's close. The line judge comes running in. He disappears into a pile, and we don't see a signal. Sean buried in there. They're going to wave. The Trojans are signaling touchdown, but they're the only ones doing so right now. Thought he had it uh, while he was upright. And it is touchdown. Men of Troy. <laughs> motion Charlie Franklin to the backfield with Jared Lee. The lay fake. And he will take a shot downfield looking for his man. He's got Eric Thomas all by himself. Touchdown, man of Troy. For Thomas, his 12th of the season, his 29th of his Sun Bell Conference Hall of Fame career. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. 
It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time. I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. To become a champion, you have to make smart choices. Choices like formulating a plan, setting goals, working hard, staying disciplined, and being an example to others. Take travel choices. I choose to fly from Montgomery Regional Airport. It connects me to my destinations, gives our region's economy a lift, provides fast personal service, and the rest is easy. I'm Coach Larry Blakeney. I fly Montgomery. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. Welcome back into the Trojan Football Report with Coach Larry Blakeney. I'm Barry McKnight. The Trojans win over Texas State on Senior Day on Black Friday. 42-28 is the final score. And in this segment, we always like to spend a little time and go in-depth with a particular student athlete representing the Troy football program, junior wide receiver B.J. Chitty out of Northview High School in Dothan, Alabama. Fought back from an injury earlier in the right. year and um, it has been sort of a, a leadership guy for your team for a little while. I, he missed the Georgia State game with an injury and, uh, you know, we we uh, we needed him to be there and certainly some other guys picked up the uh, slack by playing hard and playing well. B.J. Uh, BJ over his career has really evolved as a as a player, as a as a citizen, as a as a leader. And, you know, he. Uh, he can uh, he can be even better, and mm -hmm. I think he will be better as he matures uh, into his um, in the final stages of his career. Had a big touchdown catch on a, a little pass from Corey Franklin in the Louisiana Lafayette that, game. Uh, that was fine. I, a little little trick play we had up for him, and uh, and and BJ has done a good job for us. Of course, former high school quarterback. <clears throat> it's taken him a little while early to to get used to being a receiver, a receiver mm -hmm. in, at this level of play, but that's on the football field. We'll spend a couple of moments here and find out more about junior wide receiver B.J. Chitty out of Dothan, Alabama on our Trojan Player Spotlight. Uh, my name is B.J. Chitty. I play wide receiver. I'm a junior from Dothan, Alabama. Really, I just wanted to be close to my family. They could uh, come right up the road to the games, and they also travel to the away games. I mean, it's, it's real good to have a fan base so close. I mean, it's, it's real good. I mean, I can just call my mom if I need anything. They just come right up the road. We ain't even 45 minutes. And I have a lot of family around the Abbeville area, too, that also comes to the game. So it's, it's, it's real nice. It means a lot to me to be able to have them here. A big milestone for me, I had to, I was a quarterback in high school and coming to college where I thought I could play receiver right off the bat, um, I, had a, I still had a lot to learn with not just the plays, but the way to run routes and how to read certain defenses from the receiver spot. And um, it, it just, yeah, it took me a little time, but um, I think I finally got it. But just the, the atmosphere, I mean, it's a football, it's a football town. I enjoy being around my teammates. I mean, I see them more than I see my family, so I had to, we had to grow into each other as brothers and really preach family. We hope you enjoyed our feature with Troy wide receiver B.J. Chitty. Larry Blakeney joins the Trojan Football Report in a moment as we take a look at the second half highlights of Troy's win over Texas State. That's coming up next. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, 
the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. The beautiful city of Troy welcomes you to visit and see what Troy has to offer. Historic homes, the Pioneer Museum of Alabama, Pike County Lake, Troy University, state-of-the-art sports facility, Alabama Bandmasters Hall of Fame, public golf course and tennis courts, and first-class accommodations. Troy, Alabama, a wonderful place to live and visit. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. As the highlights showed, Eric Thomas with a 43-yard catch to give Troy a 21-14 lead at halftime over a club that you knew wasn't going to go away, Larry. No, and I think they, uh, they, I think they deferred. They got the ball in the second mm -hmm. half, did they not? And uh, uh, you know, the the wind did play a factor, and I know, I know, uh, uh, no, they, I believe they kicked with the wind in the second half, right. third quarter. Correct. which turned out to be important because we scored at the flip of the third to the fourth quarter and were able to kick off with the wind and then had to kick it to that uh, uh, to their uh, dangerous uh, kick returner. So there's a lot of things that go into into the wind and uh, and I know normally normally we do the same as coach Franchoni did and take the wind in the third. Uh, but it, it was a, it was a game that was close. It was a high, uh, you know very well contested by both teams. Uh, both teams playing hard, both teams able to move the ball, both teams, you know, getting some stops. On, and and, and uh, so, you know, it was up in the air and we had to play good to win the game. We knew it. So you know, our guys went back and uh, took control. They uh, <coughs> were able to do some things with their little option in the first half. I thought uh, your defensive staff, Coach Bolton, then made some good adjustments to they sort did. of take that away. They did. And, uh, you know, we moved a couple of people around just a little bit to m make them more accessible to the to that uh, perimeter of the right. offense. and. Uh, you know, they got us on a little trick play uh, uh, that I saw later on in the weekend, by the way. A uh, little option play and then throw it up to the receiver who was blocking and took off. But, uh, uh, you know, Dennis Franchoni is a great, great football coach, and they, they were in it for the long haul, and, and our guys fought hard and got it done. Yeah, they definitely did that. As the Trojans, again, <clears throat> take the lead into the second half. Let's take a look at those highlights from the second half of the Troy game against Texas State. Will Johnson will kick away. Holmes will backtrack deep in the end zone. The Trojans here will have a first and ten at the 25 yard line. So you have straight man on man coverage. Now they'll rotate over and double. Over the, the middle caught. That's a big play by Holmes. Holmes makes a nice move, gets a block. He's off of the races to the 40, to the 30. They'll chase him down at the 23 yard line, and Holmes strikes. On a slant, going to the line quickly on third and goal from the two snap. And they'll give it away on an end around to Worthy. Worthy with speed to the end zone. He outraces the defender. I thought he had an angle, but Worthy speeds right by him on the end around. Touchdown, men of Troy. So second down and 13. Great drop by Robin. Here comes the pressure. He'll step up well. Throw. This is a beautiful pass to Thomas at the 20. Angles to the 15. Speed to the 10. Needs a block to the 5. Racing towards the pylon. And he's out of bounds inside the 2. Here's John. They stumble. He goes airborne. Touchdown. Men of Troy. 
Pitches it right in front for Worthy. He's got a huge hole 20. Speed to the 10. They may not touch him. To the 5. He's got it. Touchdown. Men of Troy from 26 yards out. Chandler Worthy never had anybody lay a finger on him. And the Trojans get some big insurance. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time, I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. To become a champion, you have to make smart choices. Choices like formulating a plan, setting goals, working hard, staying disciplined, and being an example to others. Take travel choices. I choose to fly from Montgomery Regional Airport. It connects me to my destinations, gives our region's economy a lift, provides fast personal service, and the rest is easy. I'm Coach Larry Blakeney. I fly Montgomery. Here on our final program at the end of the regular year, we close it out with Troy. Wide receivers coach, special teams coach, assistant head coach Shane Wasden. Coach, the win against Texas State, sort of offensively a hallmark for what you guys approach. Where Ten different receivers caught balls, and that means everything is working kind of the way it's supposed to, doesn't it? Absolutely. We, we tend to spread it around, and, uh, of course, uh, Friday was, was no different. Uh, both quarterbacks were able to play, and uh, that was a big force in the game. And, uh, and, and then all season long, and our MO has been to, to get the ball to as many different people as we could and uh, never allow any, any uh, defense to key in on any one person. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, w w especially with having somebody like Eric uh, Thomas that, that tends to draw a lot of attention. It's good to have a lot of other people that can, can uh, make plays as well. A lot of seniors obviously playing in their final game at home. and. In your role, of course, with the receivers that you work with and with the special teams, there's a lot of seniors that are not going to see the field anymore in Troy, and it's going to be difficult in a lot of different ways to, to replace guys like that. Absolutely, and they'll all be uh, sorely missed. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Thomas, of course, the production that he had on the field and the kind of player that he was on the field, uh, it, it's obvious for everyone to see the, the impact that he had on the program. but. Uh, people and they're more like him, Felton Payton, another outside receiver that we're going to be losing that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that was worth his weight in gold as far as his leadership on and off the field and, and, and the role he played with young people, that our young receivers, and trying to teach them what to do. With the with the end of the of the regular year and, and, and unclear in postseason, I'm just interested in your perspective, having been on this staff for as long as you have under Coach Blayton. Your, your thoughts about the direction this program is going in, particularly over the last three years, where there's incremental increases every year. I, I think we've improved every year over the past three years. Of course, we won the, the five championships in a row there, and then of the last three years uh, have been uh, subpar to say the least for Troy football. Mm -hmm. uh, we know it as coaches and our, our players know it and our fans certainly know it and uh, we've set about to, to put things in motion to make sure that we get back where we uh, should be mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's at the top of the Sun Belt Conference. Uh, you know our, our guys 
uh, have worked extremely hard. They've done everything we've asked them to do to get there. Uh, of course, recruiting is a, is a big part of it, and then, uh, you know we've reevaluated how we uh, go about that, and, right. and and we've left no stone unturned, and and we are heading in the right direction, and uh, I think that shows by our, our wins. But e even the years when we, the couple years that we had records that were uh, as bad, I think we won three two years ago, and then five last mm -hmm. uh, season. Uh, the, the close games we lost, we lost a lot of close ball games. And uh, it, it's not because our kids weren't playing hard. So as long as you can uh, keep your, your, your players playing hard and, and heading in the right direction, which we are, I think uh, the future's bright for Troy. I couldn't agree with you more. Coach Watson, thanks for the time. Thank you. Shane Wozniak is with us. When we come back, still plenty more to talk about on the Trojan Football Report. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. The beautiful city of Troy welcomes you to visit and see what Troy has to offer. Historic homes, the Pioneer Museum of Alabama, Pike County Lake, Troy University, state-of-the-art sports facility, Alabama Bandmasters Hall of Fame, public golf course and tennis courts, and first-class accommodations. Troy, Alabama, a wonderful place to live and visit. In this segment, these are our Trojan Top 5 Highlights, the best plays from Troy's win over Texas State. And the 34-yard line, Robinson on the way, gives it away to John. He's got loads of room. They may not catch him to the 40, to the 30. They'll run him down to the 25 and stumbling forward to the 19-yard line, Jordan John. Wow. in the record book there is a uh, big John run, as uh, we've called it, but uh, the credit on that one goes to that offensive line. That's a big play by Holmes. Holmes makes a nice move, gets a block. He's off to the races, to the 40, to the 30. They'll chase him down to the 23-yard line, and Holmes strikes on a slant. He's got a huge hole, 20 speed to the 10. They may not touch him, to the 5, he's got it. Touchdown! Men of Troy from 26 yards out. Chandler Worthy never had anybody lay a finger on him. And the Trojans get some big insurance. Seven, Anthony is in. He'll quickly swing it to the near side. Holmes has a great block in front of him by Williams, and he's going to go 40 to the 30. They're not going to catch Brian Holmes. That play was made by Williams. It goes 58 yards for a touchdown. Men of Troy. And he will take his shot downfield looking for his man. He's got Eric Thomas all by himself. Touchdown, man of Troy. For Thomas, his 12th of the season, his 29th of his Sunbelt Conference Hall of Fame career.
Trojans get a big win over Texas State, again, for a lot of different reasons. 42-28 was the final score on that Friday. To close out the regular year, as Coach has already alluded, at this juncture, not sure what postseason plans entail. But, Coach, mm -hmm. now's a good time to get your thoughts and perspective on the growth of this program through this season and the, the outlook for the future. Well, I, I think, uh, and I've always said that, uh, you know, the future's bright and uh, the sky's the limit for Troy University. And in any, any endeavor, it decides that it wants to be uh, full-fledged in, football being one of those. And, uh, you know, we, we have already, uh, we have already uh, started recruiting. We've had really good re results in mm -hmm. recruiting. We will wind it up certainly like everybody else in January. But uh, we've had some, <clears throat> we, we've got to replace some pretty darn good players at quarterback, those two guys, and Eric Thomas at, at wide receiver, and, and some other guys across the board that have been really yeoman type players on the defensive front and, uh, and uh, you know, we, and safety, my goodness, mm -hmm. you know, those guys, Chris Pickett and, and Cam Hudson. Cam Hudson. And uh, so, you know, we got some work to do, uh, but I'm, I'm tickled with the guys we got coming back. And, and uh, if we can replace our quarterback situation, I feel really good about it. And we're, of course, we're after some receivers also that, mm -hmm. that uh, will fit into where, what we need them to be uh, for us. But I'm looking forward to the finishing up recruiting. Uh, we're, we ended on a positive note. If we get a bowl, we get a bowl. If we don't, we don't. You know, six and six is not quite good enough. This team was very close to being a nine-win team. And, uh, you know, we, and, 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 uh, and, and we, uh, we lost some guys that hurt us during the year. We lost our starting left tackle, and Mark, uh, Mark uh, Wilson didn't play in, in the last game, uh, our starting middle linebacker. So, and, and, and there's some other guys along the way. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the future. The, the Trojans uh, will continue to, I, you know, I think be a factor in the Sun Belt, and, and uh, we'll continue to grow. The last three years since the five-year run, you've seen incremental uh, improvements each and every year. And this year was really one of those where you've said all along, this could be logistically the most difficult schedule the Trojans have ever played. Wow, well, I'll tell you what now, logistically as far as bus drives and to, to hard places to get to and, and uh, midweek games and, and missed class and, and uh, some things that, that sort of put a, a little bit of stress on, on you as a program, uh, staff and, and a team. Uh, they have overcome and uh, you know now if we can get through finals here and get everybody uh, headed in the proper direction academically then we're going we're going to be fine i have no doubt about it and i'm looking forward to the future as well coach thanks so much thank you barry head coach larry blakeney has been so good to spend time with us all season long to talk about troy football we hope you've enjoyed it and we hope you're around next year when we bring you another season's worth of the trojan football report for more Troy Athletics, find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Trojan Football Report is presented by Montgomery Regional Airport Connections. Convenience, the rest is easy. Fly Montgomery. Troy University. Since 1887, Troy University has educated the mind to think, the heart to feel, and the body to act. If you are called to serve a greater purpose, visit troy.edu. And by Yellowwood brand pressure-treated pine. If it doesn't have the yellow tag, you don't want it.